Now, I, I've dubbed it Number Sinji 2.0, <laughs> for those of you who have been around since the Stone Age. Um, but, all right, so the, the point is, Vivi has a chance to possibly upset it. I know that Tilde is definitely the one favored here, but nonetheless, um, I mean, the fact that he's playing Lucario means that who knows, you know. It, it, oh, man, doesn't matter how much early damage Tilde does if he's not confirming it into stocks. That's just a very angry fox mm -hmm. that's going to be possibly killing him at, like, two. And, again, we're seeing what we've seen uh, Tilde show so many times. The reason that he's got the four-peat, and looking at the five right now with a good... Uh, uh, route to get to it. Just this very difficult to deal with offense and on a character like Lucario at these lower percents You're going to have to worry about kill confirms right about now Oh speaking of kill confirms the up tilt to back air the classic that we've seen till they do a million times before Even though the opponents know it's coming and they know to be looking out for it Oh, they still are just not ready for it. There are too many opportunities that he can actually go for and how much damage are you going to do to this poor man? Yeah, there's a lot on the board right now. Oh. Uh, this is Lucario the comeback kid So there's always a chance but uh, Vivi's got his work cut out for him on this one. Oh, yeah and not only that, he's not even at enough. Oh, he might be now. Yeah, yes. never mind. Very nice. So we've actually seen there's a couple separate enders to that. Sometimes we see Vivi go for the back air, sometimes the up air. I believe the up air is in response to potential SDI or DI mm. to try to get away from it. So a little bit of a mix up and very difficult to react to that. Oh, and red sparks. It's a back air at like 140 or something. Whatever it was, 110. I guess I figured it would have been a little bit later. All right, a lot of percentage oh. on this one. And there's not really like anything you can do about that. We got the drag down on the platform into the re-grab. Falling down, there could have maybe been an air dodge there, but that would have most likely been extra damage tacked on by Tilde. Uh, very much in his court for game one on this one. Vivi's got a lot of work mm. if he wants to turn this around. That forward smash almost did it, and uh, Vivi looking for that down there to side beat confirm, but not quite finding it, meaning that he's gonna be taking a lot more damage. 96% already. I know it's good for Lucario to be, you know, have a lot of damage on him, but the fact that we've already seen Tilda so good at finding those confirms that playing around it perfectly for the next however long it's going to have to be is just going to be so difficult. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. See, that's the thing. This is such a big deal about this matchup, and a lot of matchups like this for Lucario. Your comeback mechanic is directly tied to your ability to explode. And there's a lot of characters who cannot blow you up in a wide percentage, um, but Falco is not one of them. Again, we saw the up tilt into the back air. We see the Phantasm into the back air. There is not a place where it's like, oh, you know, I can do this as long as I don't get grazed by the wrong move in neutral. Falco pretty much always has a lethal option once you get to a certain percent. Yeah, and we're actually, because of that, we're seeing the character swap. It's actually going to be the hero now. And, okay, uh, this matchup is a lot quirkier. I mean, I mean, I would say that, you know, Lucario, <laughs> Falco is already pretty quirky. But this one is just the dynamism of hero. I mean, already we see Accelerado in effect, you know, tried to hop out with movement, but didn't even really get the chance. There was so much pressure that he couldn't even get zooming like he wanted mm -hmm. to. And not zooming with Doom, but zooming with Accelerado. Yeah, and that's the thing, right, is that... Hero is a character that if you don't have your win condition going up with your buffs, with uh, the things you want to do from your menu, it's very difficult to get started. Hero's frame data is not the best, even on the aerials. They're very large, but if you don't have a stage to run away through, there's not too much you can do. You kind of just got to battle it out and uh, oh, totally with very this strong neutral. Both Accelerado and I think that was Psych Up, but both of them have now expired and no MP or... Did he have MP? Um, I missed it, actually. I, I, heard the, I heard the wind noise, so I think the charge was happening, but uh, Vivi was too low on that one, so there wasn't time to get the charge. That is unfortunate. All right, we're having bounce. I mean, I feel like it's a nice utility. It just prevents you know, the use of lasers to maybe force an approach. And mm -hmm. being very liberal with his use of magic here, as his uh, already his MP down to about half, that is something that we've seen can be relevant. Um, and already, as soon as bounce runs out, like as soon as it does, Tilda already ready to shoot a laser to interrupt Vivi with what he's trying to, you know, what his game plan's gonna be. Mm -hmm, absolutely. We've seen a lot of Tilde repping. Again, just in situations where you can't really do anything about it, uh, Falco laser here and there to disrupt, usually after combos. And it's a good extra percent. It's a good chase. It disrupts people as they're recovering, etc., and gives Falco just a little bit more chip you away a bit at a time. <laughs> the tilts right next to each other. <laughs> Both of them right past the other. Oh, that grab is going to lead to much more damage, possibly, maybe even a stock. 
But that red glow about him is very scary. All right. Oh, but that it. Oh, interesting. No. Goes for the I think that there. was uh, recognizing that that wasn't quite in kill percent and going for the forward air instead. Not 100%. That might have also been a reaction to DI. Oh, actually, clips with the back air on that one. Uh, Hero does have a lot of real estate, even if he takes his uh, sweet time throwing a move out. But uh, you can get clipped on that one, covering half of the Smashville stage. Speaking of coverage, we've got Falco. Uh, Tilde's Falco using a move to get to uh, Vivi to air dodge and then punishing with the up smash, having enough time. I actually tried to do up out of shield, it looks like that one, and got stuffed before it could come out. All right, and this is things. It's kind of turned into a boxing game. Like they are on top of each other constantly for the last 30 seconds or so. And I mean, till this Falco, the boxing game for it is just so strong. You know, there's that upbeat. To <laughs> How much damage did that do after all this reflection? I think that was something like 15%. That was oh. a, a good chunk. Um, it's gonna take a lot more than that, though. This is still a couple of, like, even with hero conversions, like, best case scenario, this is still a couple conversions away. And it's difficult to get even a few on Tilde in the first place. Yeah, but it is the sort of thing where <clears throat> Falco has, you know, these big combos. You know, things leading into things leading into things. Hero just kind of hits you once and then twice, and the second thing kills you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there is always the option of this comeback happening. Barely surviving the forward tilt that's really big for Tilde. Yep. To not having to be brought to his last stock means that, well, let's see how it ends up faring for him because this is still a scary position to be in. Mm -hmm. There is the thing also with uh, Hero getting the chance to buff up a little bit between stocks sort of as a reward, and that is more or less his win condition on this one. That enables more use of the menu, that enables going in on your own terms, but it doesn't last forever. And that's the sort of thing where it, playing against Tilda, when you're down by that much, it, he demands perfection. You can't slip up even once. That up tilt is a quick move. It's an anti-air move, and it leads into that back air, and you know he's looking for it. And if you slip up even once, if you blink at the wrong time, he's going to find it, and you're going to die. Mm -hmm. 